Caramelized onions are wonderful. What's not so wonderful is having to make this stuff. Seriously, take a look at the cook times of the recipes I looked up. 45 minutes, 55 minutes, ONE HOUR! Getting through airport security isn't even this long and cumbersome, and I travel with a backpack full of electronics. So let me show you my method for getting caramelized onions in a fraction of the time. Now how do we cut down on caramelization time without having to take our pan to the mouth of an active volcano? Simple, you cut your onions nice and thin. Insert clip from Monty Python's The Meaning of Life. And we're gonna employ the help of this. A mandolin slicer. Set it to about one six or one quarter of an inch. First, let's prep the onions. Cut off the stem of an onion, which I already did. And chop the other end off too. Cut it in half and cut this half in half. And remove the outermost paper layers. Oh, and uh, safety first, wear a cutting glove. I already made a Michael Jackson joke last time. No double dipping. And slice our onions lengthwise. Fair warning, you're gonna tear up more than the time they shot Bambi's mom. Okay, our onions are nice and sliced up. Now it's time to caramelize. Owned a, a few more tips for quick caramelization. Number one, use your biggest, beefiest burner. Number two, use a large frying pan with a lot of surface area. That way our onions heat up quicker. So set this over medium heat. Okay, once it heats up a bit, uh, throw in a few teaspoons of oil. Um, keep this close by, you might need more later. Okay, once it heats up, add in our onions. and sprinkle our salt all over our onions. It'll help draw out moisture, helping caramelization. Also, it gives a little bit more flavor. Now I'm gonna throw a timer on the other camera. And I'm gonna show you how long this is gonna take. Oh, to give our onions a stir every couple minutes to prevent them from burning. And bada bing bada boom, you got caramelized onions in a fraction of the time. Kill the heat and transfer everything to a bowl. With the onions nice and caramelized, you can make French onion soup, put it on hot dogs and burgers, or just have it by itself. And if you thought this little hack was neat, hit the like button and press subscribe. Yeah, I know I don't do the typical hit the like button stuff, but A, it really does work, and B, I was banned from the Food Hacks subreddit. That's not very wholesome Keanu Chungus of you, Reddit. This has been Chase Dutton Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning at this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Oh, and uh, this didn't make the cut, but I had to chop off a lot of rotten parts on the onions. It's always with sweet onions. I really don't know why.